Josh Slatter, and welcome to another edition of GTA's ISO Mode. If you haven't already followed GTA Sports Network and GTA Heat, check on all social media platforms. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to GTA Sports on YouTube. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And check out TySlatter.com for all things in the world of sports. Today, we're going to talk about my hometown, the Indiana Pacers. Currently 7th in the East at the time of this video. 13 games back from the Boston Celtics, who are, uh, you know, Eight game winning streak, nine and one in the last ten. I'm gonna do a different video on them, so make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for that. Today we're gonna talk about the Pacers, and the reason why is because they're six and four in the last ten. They're fourteen and fourteen on the road, nineteen and twelve at home, twenty five and fifteen in the conference. At the time of this recording, thirty three and twenty six. And you're probably wondering why am I talking about the seventeen in the East? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, throughout this season, I have been a strong advocate in saying that the Pacers will not only make the playoffs, but I consider them a top five team in the East. I did not expect the 76ers to hold on the way they have uh, without Joel Embiid. Uh, even though they're 3-7 and seven in the last 10, they're still fifth in the East because all of these teams are so close. Uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers have gone on a nice little run. They're 7-3 they're and three in their last 10. The Bucks have somewhat figured it out with Coach Doc Rivers. They're five and five in their last ten on a two-game win streak at the time of this recording. Uh, the Knicks, despite not having Julius Randle, OG Ananobi, Mitchell Robinson, and Jalen Brunson's out there, you know, doing everything he possibly can with the help of his Villanova brothers, Dante DiVincenzo, as well as Josh Hart. Uh, of course, I'm gonna save my thoughts on the. Detroit Piston Knicks situation at the end of the game, the no call that was uh, later revealed that it should have been a call that easily could have went in the Pistons favor. But obviously due to the no call, Josh Hart hits the bucket, gets fouled, and they seal the game 113-111. Uh, I'm going to say that for the podcast. So again, don't want to miss it. It's going to be great. Uh, shout out to my boy Antonio Turner over there at the Heat Check Podcast. We will be covering the officiating of the 2023-2024 NBA season. Uh, but as far as Pacers go, what I see at this at this stage, um, for every great game that they have against a contender, they fall to a team that's rebuilding. Uh, my greatest example is their recent loss to the Toronto Raptors. It shouldn't have happened. I'm not saying that they're not a good team. I'm simply saying the Raptors are, are not in contention, so there's no reason why they should have lost this game. Uh, shout out to the Raptors, though, because in spite, in spite, despite of them being a rebuilding team, they're not at the bottom of the East. They're 12th, so, and they're 5-5 five and five in the last 10. They're on a three-game win streak. They could still make a run for the play-in. Uh, Trey Young is hurt on the Hawks, so they could possibly fall out of the play-in. The Nets or expected to fall out of play in. They went through a coaching uh, transition. Uh, shout out to Kevin Ollie, who is the new head coach uh, after the dismissal of Jacques Vaughn. Um, so the Raptors could still sneak into the playoffs. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, they're in a position where they actually could possibly sneak into the playoffs um, at 12. I'm not saying they will, but the East is so close. They're only, you know, really three games back from the Hawks. So... It's very possible. Back to the Pacers, though. I feel like the only reason they're not top five in the East right now at the time of this video is because the Miami Heat have gone on a tear. They're 8-2 in their last 10. They woke up, playoff Jimmy, early. They're on a four-game win streak. And they actually won in spite of him being suspended due to the scuffle that they had against the Pelicans. Uh, Thomas Bryant missed the game. Uh, Jimmy Butler missed that game. Uh, Nikola Jovich was out with an injury. And uh, they played, I think there was eight players out. And they still won in spite of that. So shout out to Miami Heat. They're always finding ways to win. Next man up mentality. Um, but because of that, they knocked the Pacers down on a spot and jumped over them. Because Pacers technically should have won against the Raptors. And they didn't. Them losing to the Raptors got them bumped down. Because the Raptors are so far back. And the Pacers and Heat were only a game apart. Now... The Heat have the advantage, and I don't think they're going to let up, to be honest. Uh, so Pacers definitely got to step up. Um, shout out to Ben Mathurin, um, Miles Turner. They've, they've had some high-scoring games as of late. Tyrese is Tyrese. Um, 
he'll give you more assistant points some nights and you, you know, or sometimes he'll give you the best of both worlds. He's a pass first point guard that can shoot. Can't really knock that. The team has the talent. They have the coaching. They have the they have the leadership in place. Uh, but I think what's going to happen is the Pacers are going to have to find a way to either match up against the Heat, the Sixers, and the Knicks because you should be able to take advantage of these games. At the end of the day, you got to win. The, the, the must-wins have to be won. I, I don't think there's anything else I can really say. still truly believe in my heart of hearts. Bias put to the side, the Pacers can be a top-five team in the East. But it's going to take them winning the must wins. You have to win the must win games. When you got to circle those on the schedule. If I'm head coach Rick Carlisle, I'll circle the games that you know good and damn well. My team is good enough to win. And, and make sure that the job is done. And this has been the Pacers ISO mode. Make sure you follow G GTA Sports Network, GTA Heat Check. Follow me at Ty Slatter as well. Like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube page, GTA Sports. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And make sure you check out TySlatter.com for all things in the world of sports. It's Ty Slatter, and until next time, take care.